Caddy Dad One coming at you today. I want to thank <clears throat> one of my listeners. Ikeni is his uh, name that he goes by on YouTube, but he turned me on to something that I was unaware of that has happened. The Gulf Well, um, you know, the Deep Water Horizons Gulf oil spill. It did way more damage than any of us know. Um, I live here in Florida. I'm from Florida. And let me tell you, the research that I've just done, I've just done about four hours worth of research. And I am shocked at what I've learned here. What they've done is, along with the Corexit, they have used a, I don't know if you want to call it a virus or a, uh, oh shoot, what's the word? And it's, it's an organism anyways that consumes organic material, which the oil there is abiotic oil and it's constantly reproduced by the earth and this organism was designed to eat the oil okay makes sense well one of the horrible effects that this stuff has done is they call it the blue plague and people are getting this flesh-eating bacteria because, you know, this stuff, it does eat oil and organic material, but it also eats human flesh and destroys the immune system. And they've found a lot of, uh, a lot of proof um, the Corexit was one thing. This other stuff is another. And it has absolutely killed the Gulf of Mexico. And it is killing us. It is continuing to kill people. Um, I have family members that live over in Panama City. Okay. If you lived in Panama City, you could get a check from BP. I think they gave them uh, 3,000, uh, 3,200 or 3,600 or, or something like that if you was a resident there and if you could prove that you just lived there. Okay, when they took the money, they had to make an agreement that they couldn't, you know, they couldn't look back on it again. They couldn't talk about it. Um, it was done and finished with. This is blood money that they paid these people. Several of my family members got some of this money. Um, and, you know, and I couldn't understand, why are they paying people that don't live on the beach? You know, that aren't directly affected. Well, this is exactly why. It's because these people are going to die. And they are susceptible to get affected by this stuff any time. Any time. I mean, it can be transferred from the food and, and all kinds of stuff. And let me tell you, I have a good friend of mine who goes fishing in the Gulf all the time. Like at least once a month. He's in the hospital right now because he contracted a flesh-eating disease. Okay, he doesn't know where he got it. They don't know where he got it. I have a suspicion of where he got it on one of his trips fishing in the Gulf here last weekend. Okay, they almost had to amputate his leg because of this flesh-eating disease. Like I said, they don't know where he got it, what happened, anything. And after reading this, I'm, uh, you know, I hate to think that he got it in the Gulf of Mexico and might have cut himself or skinned his knee or something while he was out on the boat 
Well, that's how it happens. Um, you know, and another thing, the Corexit is just wiped out people's immune systems and just done horrible, horrible things to people's health. Absolutely destroying their health. I mean, this is a serious, horrible crime that's been committed. And they got to pay some money and be done with it. They got to pay their way out. And they're done. While the rest of us will still continue to suffer and die from this. Um... I'm grateful that my listener um, turned me on to this story. I had no idea of the severity of it. That we're not only dealing with the Gulf Stream being stopped and slowing down, but we're dealing with all this stuff too. This is some of the stuff that's in the Corexit here. Um, they quit using it in caulking um, for construction because it's so so bad for you. It's such poisonous. And you know, some really weird things happened also while I was doing this research. Um, and I know these are some graphic images, but look at this. One of the cards. One of the cards. New World Order cards. Interesting, huh? This just happened. And now where we are? Oil spill? What's next? What's next? Gun control? That's going on. Tidal wave? Could be the East Coast thing. What's next? Nuclear accident? Martial law? Tax reform? Guillotines? What is next? I mean, they have absolutely... I guess we've been under, a, under extreme attack and we had no idea of it. And I apologize if these pictures are quite graphic for some. I I'm, I'm, don't mean to make anybody upset or sick. I just want to bring your attention to what is going on. Because I know there's um, a lot going on that people just don't know. And another member of my family had MERS in the hospital. And that's a flesh-eating thing too. And when we see stories like this, there's no flesh-eating bacteria epidemic, experts say. Well, when we see news articles come out like this, directly addressing that, oh, though no, there's no problem here. And this is from the U.S. Um, Weekly News. I mean, this is mainstream news media here. Who are you going to believe? Mainstream news? Yeah, and this is what popped up. After I tried to look at, um, uh, which was the, one of these sites I tried to go on. Maybe it was this next one. Um, which one was it? Uh, this is the one that I tried to go on and that malware thing popped up. Okay, that popped up several times. And this bath salts thing. They're, they're blaming the flesh eating stuff on bath salts. Here's that article here. You know? I mean, how far are they going to go to cover it up and make up lies? Oh, this is why it's happened because of bath salts. Well, that was supposed to have been the reason dude ate the guy's face off down in Miami. And then they found out there was no drugs in his system. You know, come on. Come on. We've got some serious problems here. We're looking at the death of not just the Gulf of Mexico, not just the southern states. But this is depopulation right in front of us. Right in front of us. And it ain't just killing us. It's killing the sea life. Dolphins fish, whales, you know, they didn't ask for this stuff, yeah, and this is another thing I had pop up on me while I was doing this research, I've never had this happen while I was going through photos on uh, the images on Google search, 
Never. <clears throat> Gulf man made bacteria, blue plague, vaccines, death, spill, headlines, roundup. You know, we are under assault right this moment. Right this very moment, we are undergoing population control. And I hope you see that. I hope you recognize that. Because that's exactly what it is. I hope everybody's well. I hate to bring this kind of news to you. And I'm going to continue to uh, look into this. And I'll bring you more when I can. This is Chatty Dad 1. I hope everybody's well and having a great 4th of July. I'm so glad that we haven't had any terrible thing happen yet. Let's pray for continued um, good fortune. May the Lord bless us and, and keep us. Maybe these, uh, you know, maybe doing what we're doing is, is holding them off. Because, you know, when a person's plans are made known, they change tactics. And it holds them off for a while. Let's hope it continues. Anyway, happy 4th of July, everybody. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can, and prepare as much as you can in the days we have left. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.